Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Elle and today we have a new Project Pan introduction. As you can tell, this is the Beauty A to C Project Pan and it's a Fantastic Ladies collab and it's created by Jessica Lee. I think. I'm not sure. I don't remember. I'm so sorry. I'm filming in a rush and yeah. So, this year I am gonna do my Beauty A to C a little bit differently. I'm gonna do all eyeshadows. So, my goal with all 26 eyeshadows is to hit pan on them. And if I meet my goal on that early enough in the year to do a round two, I will consider it, um, but we will see. So, let's go from the top. Uh, first up for the letter A, I have the shade Archetype from Lethal Cosmetics. It's this one right here. It's just a really nice rosy toned uh, brown and will be a really nice transition shade for me for a neutral or pinky look. Then we have the shade Bossa Nova for the letter B and that comes from... I'm not gonna... I do not remember all of the palettes where the little cosmetics shadows come from. Um, I just pulled them out. I haven't charged my MacBook so I'm just going off the list with the names. Um, so I'm sorry about that. Bossa Nova comes from the uh, Kaleidos Escape Pod palette and it's whoop, a, this matte right here, matte cool toned brownie shade. Again this one will be a nice um, transition shade. Then we have for C the shade Cosmic. And that's from the Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde palette and it's this light pink shimmer right there which shouldn't be too difficult for me to, fin to finish up, to hit pan on. Um, I really want this to look more loved and used um, than, it all, than it is uh, because it's a really stunning palette. Then we have the shade Dyed Up, and that comes from, is it the Fade Into Hue? Yes, and it's this middle green shade right here. Uh, just, oh, I'm sorry, shadow. It's a really nice, green shadow, mid-tone shadow, um, so yeah, I'm really into the greens, as you can tell. Greens and purples are my thing at the moment, I absolutely love those, so really happy with that. Then we're going back to Lethal Cosmetics, where for the letter E we have Evoke right here, which is a nice kind of Barbie pink with blue specks in there. Um, really nice shadow and again that one shouldn't be too badly to hit pan on for the letter f we're going back to colourpop and the mint to be palette and we we when i say we i mean me um are gonna try to hit pan on the shade freshman right here which is the darkest shimmer shadow in this palette but it's not dark it's just the darkest one in the palette um, shimmer. So yeah, as you can see, I do have two pans already and I think by using this one I will be able to hit pan on this one as well because I do have a good dip going on in that one and maybe some more pans during the year uh, by using this. So then we're going back to Kaleidos and the Escape Pod. Yes, 
Uh, for the letter G, we have Galactic Gala. And it's this green one right here. As you can see, I have a lot of green going on. Um, but yeah, I love greens and this shadow is really pretty and um, cannot wait to use this palette some more. Then for the letter H, we have Glamite, the chocolate martini palette. And we, I am going to try to hit pan in the shade Happy Hour, which is this dark shimmer shadow. Uh, it's a bluish, gray kind of shade. Really pretty. Um, cannot wait to use it. Uh, actually, because I haven't used it yet. So, yeah, and that means I, this palette will be loved a little bit more. This is one of the newer palettes into my collection, but I really do love this really basic brownie neutral palette. It's stunning. I do have a first impressions on this one, so go check it out. Then we're back to the Lethal Cosmetics. We are gonna go for the letter I and the shade Incarnate, and that's this I don't know, mauve toned pink shimmer right here. Again, it's really stunning, and again, it shouldn't take too long to hit pan on it. Um, so that's that one. For the letter J, I have a Give Me Glow Cosmetics single in the shade Joker, and this is just a really nice olive, um, dark olive kind of green, and um, I absolutely love this shadow. I just need to use my Give Me Glow Cosmetics singles more. Uh, I do have some others in other project pans, um, but this one will go nicely with all of the greens going on in this project. Then we have K, and for that we're going back to my Lethal Cosmetics shadows. We have the shade Kindred, and that's this peachy shadow right here and um, this will be really pretty in the summertime for sure um, so yeah again I don't think I don't think any of these will be difficult to hit pan on then for the letter A I'm going a little bit crazy I'm gonna go with my Pat McGrath <laughs> Fleur Fantasia Fleur Fantasia palette in the shade Lavender Blue, so it's the quad that I have, and the shade Lavender Blue is this one right here, which is a duochromy purpley blue, so yeah, I have seen these pad before and they are quite deep, but this is my favorite shadow out of this palette, so yeah, and I do need to get some more love on my Pat McGrath shadows anyways. For the letter M, I'm going back to my Lethal Cosmetics and the shade Midway, which is the middle shade right here, which is more of a warmer toned brown. Um, crease shadow and it's really beautiful. I cannot wait to use it some more, um, but yeah. For the letter N, we're going back to the Colourpop Fade Into Hue palette and we're gonna go with the shade, where are you, Novu, and it's the darkest purple shimmer right here, uh, would have gone perfectly with the look today. I do have a video up on this one and I already have two pans in this palette actually. Um, this is a really beautiful rainbow palette, as you can see, but I need to get a, get some more pans in this one because these aren't too, these are easy to hit pan on. I hit pan on this matte one in 10 uses or so. Um, so yeah, I need to get some more love into this palette. Uh, 
Um, back to my lethal shadows, we have the letter O for onset, which is this really light mauve tone. I do have it in my crease today underneath some other purple shadows. Uh, but these two will be a really nice and easy everyday look, kind of. Just an easy look to do on a day you don't have too much time to do makeup. So, yeah, I really do love it. And I'm currently using it in my Build Your Own palette, um, which I will have an update on tomorrow. The third, I'm filming this on the 2nd of January. This video will go up on the 7th or 8th or 6th. I do not remember, um, but I need to film it before I do use it. And I'm gonna count this one that I used today as my first use on that one. So, yes. For the letter P, I'm going back to my Pat McGrath palette and I'm going for the Mothership Rose Decadence, Decadence palette. It's one of her six pan palettes, and ooh, I lost the name sheet, but I'm gonna go with Pink Champagne, which is this light pink shimmer right here, and I again, it's an easy shade to wear on an everyday basis, so I do think this one will get a lot of love maybe later in the year, like in the summertime or something. Um, but yeah, I do need to give some more love to my Pat McGrath shadows. For the letter Q, we have the, we're going back to Kaleidos. We're going to Club Nebula palette. And the shade Queen of Blades, which is a dark teal. And it's this shadow right here. So again, it will go really nicely with my green shadows. And I do have one pan in here, a really tiny pan in this one. And I really do need to use this some more. Then for the letter R, we're going back to my Lethal Cosmetics shadows. And the shade Remission, which is this really nice curly pink. Um, these two will make a really nice and quick and easy look. Um, but yeah, cannot wait to dig into these shadows. For the letter S, we are actually going to my Beauty Bay and Nikki Tutorials palette for the shade Slasher, which is this purple on top here. Um, really, really nice dark purple. And I don't think there's these pans are too deep. Um, so shouldn't take too long, I think. Then we're going back to Give Me Glow Cosmetics and the Pastel Dreams palette. Yeah, Pastel Dreams. And the letter T for the shade too high for this and that's the pastel shimmer green um, absolutely love that one and I'm currently working on a shadow from Give Me Glow Cosmetics that's kind of similar to this one uh, so this will be on the back seat for a little while until I hit pan on that shadow if you know, you know then we're going back to the Beauty Bay Nikki Tutorials palette for the letter U. U? U? How do you say that one in English? It's the shade Underground. And that's this shimmer right here. It's just a really nice neutral shimmer. Uh, I'm currently working on All In, which is a duochrome green gold shadow, uh, but this one will look really nice with all of the um, 
neutral shadows that I have pulled from Refill Cosmetics. Um, so yeah, I cannot wait to get some more use in this palette. Last Lethal Cosmetics shadow is the shade Vanam, which is this bright blue right here. Um, it does have a gold sheen to it, so it's gonna be a nice shadow for a blue look or a neutral look with the pop of blue under the lid. So that's that one. Then for the letter W, we have Sample Beauty and the shade Whole Meal, which, if I'm not mistaken, is this brown shadow right here. Uh, I could actually pop that one into, into with my Lethal Cosmetics, but I want to keep it in here to get some use out of the other shadows as well. Uh, so far, I have only used the shimmer shadow right here, and I do like the formula of those. Then for the letter X, I couldn't find any eyeshadow in my collection starting with the letter X, but I do have a shadow ending with the letter X, and that is the shade Vortex from my Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde palette, and it's this deep purple matte right here. Um, so yeah, it will be really interesting because I do have a similar shadow in my Pandat palette for the year, so which I'm trying to finish up. So I might actually go with this one first and then work on the one I'm trying to finish up after. Then we're going to... Is it the Kaleidos? Yes. We're going back to my Kaleidos Club Nebula palette for the letter Y. And the shade is You're My Only Hope, which is this lavender shimmer shadow right here. Really pretty. Uh, it's a topper shade. And yeah, it will look really pretty with all of the purple looks I'm planning on doing this year. And again, it shouldn't be too difficult to hit pan on it. The pans aren't that deep. So, lastly, we have the letter Z, and for that, we're going back to my Beauty Bay and Nikki Tutorials palette. And we are gonna go for the shade Zoomer, which is this peachy shadow right here. And I have used it once, and I have a dip already, so it shouldn't be too difficult to hit pan on it. Um, but yeah, it's more of a spring kind of shade, so we will see how we are getting along with that one. Um, that's all 26 eyeshadows. <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna go crazy this year. Uh, I'm hoping to actually have this done before I go to school. Um, but my main focus until April will, will be my Fifty Shades of Purple, uh, but I do need some shadows to help with those. So my focus shadows for the for, for next update will be this shade because it's still in my Rillaroom palette. Um, so that one will be a focus shade for me. What else can I focus in on? Um, do, 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 do. I don't know. For the first month, I kind of just want to play, but I really want to hit pan in this one. Um, because I'm doing a lot of purpley looks, as you can tell, purples and pinks. So this is a good first transition shadow. Um, it just helps it blend out nicely and yeah. So I want to hit pan on this one by the next update and get some more use on the other shades in this project. 
I will be tallying up how many times I use boom. I will be tallying up how many usage it takes for me to hit pan on each of these. Um, and how many times I use them each month. So it will be interesting to keep track. And um, yeah, it will be an interesting year for panning for sure. So especially for my eyeshadows. If you haven't seen my Size Matters Pan Dot Palette and my Pan Dot Palette introduction, please go check that one out. Um, if you haven't checked out my latest Pandos eyeshadows update, please go check that one out. Uh, this is the third full only eyeshadow project pan I'm doing so far this year. Um, and I do have some eyeshadows spread across the other um, projects I'm currently doing. So, yeah. I do have a video going up on the 8th um, where I talk about my eyeshadow goals for 2022. So if you want to see that, please subscribe. That way you don't miss out anything for my from me this year. Um, and yeah. Let me know what you think about these shadows. Um, I don't think they will be terribly bad to hit pan on all of these. The only two I'm kind of nervous about are the two Pat McGrath shadows, but I'm really happy I did pull those in. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed and I hope I will see you again in my next video. Bye!